like I've had like the worst luck with the uh, Syngonium Potophyllum Alba Vergata that don't even, don't ever give me one of those. It's just kind of It's plant time. But this one has been like, yeah, right? And then all this is red and maybe you can kind of Such see where it fell off of the knuckle on the top where it was just my very angry Nanook. I don't know what's up with him. I'm just going to rip it out and I'm going to put this in instead because it looks awesome. I just shoved them in the soil. I cut them and I shoved them in the soil and some of them rotted. So I'm just going to pop that in a jar. And, uh, he's managed to grow a little bit of root but it looks crap. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna cut that off, I don't like it. I'm gonna start again. Just wasn't happy there. It was in a really dark spot, so. I don't like it when they're all lanky though, so I'm just going to hack these off. I'll just do all of them like that. Is it finished? I'll uh, squeeze him. Squeeze him in there. Um, oh, hang on. It's a, bit, it's a bit full on here. This is all my cuttings at the minute. I'm trying to grow this pineapple, but... Not because like they look like roots, but I think I failed last time when I did it. But I'm trying to change the water as often as I can, and we'll see. I don't know. Oh, lovely fungus that. I hate them things. So I'm gonna put this one into here and stick it on the wall on the stairs. So let's see what these roots look like. Oh, uh, so I'm just look at the roots on that. I think I'm just gonna leave him as he is. And he's got a new shoot come in there. Look, how good! So I'm gonna put him in here. This guy looks so good. I'll just put him up, stick the soil around in there. Show him on the stairs. So there he is. Put it up. I'll pop him on the wall and all. But yeah, see how he looks on there. It's going to be great. So there he is. Living his new best life with all his friends. That one at the top. I can't reach him right now, but he's quite angry too. But there's nothing I can do right now. I think everyone else, is. he just needs that leaf cutting off. Everyone else seems... To be doing okay. This man jewel is a bit, but I've never had one before, so I'm just getting the hang of it. Everyone else seems okay. Though. I might have a little bit of a trim on some of the pothos. You can never have too many. This one I repotted not long ago. He's got a new leaf coming. What do you do when you've got no ladder? You uh, improvise. So I've trimmed as much as I can by myself. And now I want to get that one. Hopefully you can see it. So I'm just going to uh, hang on and hope for the best. And you pick them up later. I did ask for a ladder to be permanently built you know like libraries have but so far i haven't been given one of those it really would be nice though i think my lifespan could be extended oh god oh, i need three hands i really want that one i'm gonna get it
half moon. Woo. So I've got about new plants. To brush one of the fluffy's teeth, because uh, he has got the most rank mouth you will so ever find. And from the looks of it, he's been eating something in the garden while we're out there as well. Lovely. So I have to do these three times a day. I don't know if I said that already. And it seems to be helping. But no, who expects that they have to brush their dog's teeth after every meal? Well, it's me. It's me now. So I've got mostly Philodendron Brazil off the stairs, but I did get a few Marble Queens. Is it Marble? Yeah, Pothos, Marble. Oh God, what is that? That leaf is filthy. Weird. Oh, that was where he was drilling the wall and it was all falling on it. One of them, look at that one. Look, it's like a half leaf oh i want that so much i have ordered one it's coming in the post but it's not here yet but anyway i'm just gonna snip them into one leaf cuttings and pop them in the water it takes so long to root though it's really mm, a bit too small it feels like forever waiting for the roots to grow Got one upstairs that's not far off being potted up, but I know it's winter and I shouldn't expect that much. I don't have much patience. You'll hear my YouTube videos going on in the background because I don't like the sound of nothing. And I've got three dogs, which usually are barking their head off but right now we're being very calm so there we go that's a new plant in the making let's see how long before i get to pot him up and then i might put some back into those pots on the wall to make it look fuller because right now they look a bit scraggly, but I did only put them up in like November. So there he is. Yay! So I don't know how many plants I'm going to get out of this. There's quite a lot, so I might try and leave these ones longer. Yeah. So I've got quite a lot of these stems. So I might leave these longer. Just take off the uh, few leaves at the end. And uh, pop it in. So I'm going to do that with all of them and then. So that's one cup's worth. I'm going to have to have another cup for the next one. It's a cup. A lot of space. So I'm going to do a little jar for this one, I think. Look at the leaf on that one. It's just amazing. So I'll show you one. So I've got one of just like single leaves. And then these ones are all just freaks. So I'm going to have to bend them all upwards and see if I can get them to stay in, but I was putting them in before and they were trying to ping back out. So let's see if I can get them to stay in this time, if it's just those guys. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Woo. Good time. Some up there. That's what I made earlier. I've got some on this top shelf here. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to pop this one up soon, but he's not quite ready yet. Got a little collection of Marantas in there. And uh, some more of my prayers. 
So I've got this cut in. I took a while ago and put it up. And I'm going to put it on into this one that I took the last one out of to put on the wall. So that's him parted up. I'll stick him in the bedroom later. Next, I'm going to do this pink princess. Look at that leaf. That is the best leaf. I hope the rest come out better. Look at that one. It's, it's not fully unfilled yet, but... I already repotted one and it looks so much better than in a small pot. So I've now got a bigger pink one. Obviously it's got to be pink. Stick a bit of soil in this one. A chunky mix, as everyone says. Give him a little squish. Some really nice roots in here. I did use my Grazel inoculants. You can see kind of a little bit of that black staining on the roots. See how his roots are looking. I'm still getting the hang of these, and I uh, roots that have on it. So this I is think they're okay. Like area. They seem to like me. But they do live like it's rotted, in the bedroom. So that's him plotted on. It's just a better size. It was drying out really quickly before. So I'll stick him back in the bedroom. It's really warm up there. It's got a massive window. He's back up here in the bedroom. I've had a bit of a reshuffle since the last time I made a video. I've got these new shelves that go up to the ceiling. And I put some fairy lights in. So it's looking a lot better, I think. I've just had a bit of a trim on... Uh, that one over there, I've put him back, who I've just repotted, and this is how it looks now. So we'll go back to the kitchen and carry on chopping and potting. I had to have a little prune of the uh, Cebu Blue. I've only got one, so I need to make more. So I'm hoping I can just push the Cebu Blue in and just leave that leaf on the same node because I really don't want to cut the leaf off I think as long as the leaves are not in the water it should be okay I just don't want them to spring back up and not be in the water because of the leaf but if I keep them in here I'll watch it and I'll see if it happens and I can fix that uh, that's gonna be that one, that's pretty easy. That's that one done. Yes, it's good. It's quite a substantial bit of so plant. Through these Tradescantia yellow zebra, I think they're called. I just need, and they've been rooting for ages, so I'm gonna pop them on, or pop them up even. I'm going to get this one here. I've got a tripod coming so I can tilt there, but for now, this is what you're stuck with. So I'm just going to chuck a load of muck around that. And I'm uh, hoping to put all these outside when spring comes. And it's, it's going to be my houseplant outdoors year, I'm telling myself. I'm not going to go buying bedding plants. I'm just going to stick a load of Tradescantia and other things outside. I'm going to stick some Pilia as well, you know, the pancake plant. And I think it could be awesome. So I'm just going to do two more of them. It's going to be good. I've got a dream, a vision. But you'd probably be bored to watch any more of this. Because uh, the next one will look just the same. I'll show you when they're all done. Those three done. I'm going to take those into the prop That's room. Three on there. Looks pretty awesome. We're in the prop room now. That's all my old dry canners. I'm just saving those for spring. I know that table probably looks crap, but 
And here's all the rest of my props ready for springtime fun, along with other stuff. Top shelf is the angry plants, living in moss right now. Got a bit of a watermelon peperomia thing going on. I'm growing some arum lilies for the garden. Uh, oh, and lots of echiums. Lots of echiums. And that was meant to be an echium. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I've refilled my cup. Now I've got to do all these yellow zebra cuttings I brought from the bedroom because never ending with them ones. So I just take the bottom leaves off and stick it in the water and wait for the next lot to pot up. I'll show you when I'm done. The new cutting's made and I guess that's me done for today. I'm just going to stare at my plants now.